it was something like 16, I, like, I don't know, like they were quite expensive, but again, this is Etsy, it's small business, and these were gorgeous, so like, fine. But if I'm paying $130 for like 16 cookies, like I'm hoping that they're, they're gonna look nice. <laughs> So you can probably see where this is going. So, or the cookies. I gave her notes about like, you know, the, the uh, text that I wanted on the cookies and the color scheme that I wanted. My sister is very like, like classic and timeless style and whatever. So I didn't want anything to be like bright highlightery or whatever. I wanted like classic, like neutral. You, you guys are gonna die. I hope you're gonna die. I hope I'm gonna get the validation. And if not, you're crazy. So I gave her direction, like, like maybe like golden white and like a pop of green, like, you know, but I also kind of, yeah, I'm like, you know, I trust this person. Look at the fabulous work she's done. So three days before we're supposed to be in New York. I get the cookies. And I open them up. And I was like, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> now, were they, did they send me Oreos? No. Did they send me custom cookies that looked fine? If nobody knew what I had thought that I purchased, sure, but were they in line in any way with the examples on the website? Absolutely not. Let me show you the pictures, okay? I'm gonna, okay. All right, so this first one. On the left is what I thought I ordered. On the right is what I got. It, like, the gold, the ring around the is not even perfectly circle. The shape of the cookie is just, it's not in the shape of a diamond ring. There's no flowers, there's no details. It's like a random shape. And this is just not at all in line. Like it's just not the same. So like, I was just really pissed about this. Let's look at the next one. Next one, same thing. First off, look at this cookie. Again, the shape. It is a heart shape. You can see like a little bit of cookie on the edge. The text is really nicely done. And now look what I got. The Gina and Andrew cookie. I'm sorry, like there's no depth. There's no nothing to this. It's night and day difference to me. And it's like white font on white cookie. It like doesn't really work. Um, and it's just such a difference when I used these photos as like reference and none of her photos looked even remotely like what she had said, given me. And then here's the final one, the worst one. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm getting riled up just looking at this, guys. Okay, this one was the worst. Number one, again, the shape. All these shapes were like custom, like hearts and like diamond rings and this Mr. and Mrs. This was, this was a stop sign, okay, or whatever that shape is. It's been a while since I've taken geometry. This one looked like my little four-year-old nephew did it. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, oh my god, this one was so bad. Okay, I'm, I'm validated for sure. <laughs> so, Actually, I didn't open them up. Nicole, that's Nicole's finger. Because we had them sent to New York. Because Nicole lives in New York. And she was going to, you know, bring them. So she, like, opened them up. And I remember she was texting me, like, yeah, they're cute. And I was like, Nicole, like, oh my god, they look like shit. She's like, okay, I wasn't going to say anything, like, in case that's what you, like, thought you ordered. But yeah, like, and I sent her the pictures. And she's just like, oh my god, that's crazy. So I was pissed, okay? Because now things on Etsy take a while to order, right? And now I have just paid $130 for these cookies that really are pretty shitty looking and um, not what I thought I paid for. And it's three days before. 
done hastily without thought. <laughs> they're, they're actually so bad, I feel like I was literally scammed. <laughs> Guys, I'm not a Karen. Like, I'm not like a Karen. Like, I am nice. Customer service y, like, whatever. Like, I was pissed. That Mr. and Mrs. one, like, please. I said, I am asking for a full refund. The engagement party is in three days, and there is zero hope of reconciling this unless you can overnight an entire new set that actually are up to par with what you advertise and what I paid for. She wrote back and tried to gaslight me. And she said, Sorry you feel this way, but you provided me with very little information of what you actually wanted until now. Pause. If you felt like I didn't provide you enough information, which I definitely did, ask me for more. If you need more information, I ordered these way in advance. This was not a last minute order, like anything like that. So if you feel you don't have enough to work with, ask me. Uh, she said, the pictures you sent me of what you compared my cookies I sent were from three separate orders of mine. On my Etsy page, I have so many different versions of engagement cookies that I have done. How was I supposed to know you wanted those without telling me? Yeah, she had a million versions that all looked fucking fire and so good and not even remotely comparable to what she sent me. She said, when you said not cutesy, because she did have some that were like, like a little, like young, you know, cutesy. I took that as classy and elegant, which is what I tried to vibe together. You said a pop of green. Maybe. I feel like if I added green, it would have taken the elegance out of the cookies. Like, what? Now, if you would have sent me those cookie pictures before of what you specifically wanted, then I could have definitely done those, but you did not. I was so mad. Okay, wait, look. This is what I said. If you needed more information, you could have reached out to ask me. Every single one of the photos you have displayed on your shop has a visibly high level of craftsman craftsmanship that these clearly do not. Every single person I showed immediately agreed with me and could not believe the money I paid for these. They are cheap looking. The ones in comparison are classy and elegant. It looks like you're an extremely talented person, but somehow I got completely chipped. This is 100% black and white to anyone that would look at these. <laughs> I will not drop this if you don't refund me. I will push through Etsy. <laughs> oh my god. I said I can't believe the gaslighting that is occurring here. That you're trying to tell me the quality of what you sent is the best you could have done. Especially the future Mr. and Mrs. one. It's so sloppy. Okay, I was being mean, but I was mad. It's extremely clear to me you either forgot about the order and did these super last minute or this shop is a scam. It would be a lot easier for me to be understanding and nice if you'd admit that you forgot about them and send me a refund. So, okay, so I wrote her. That was on December 16th. On the 17th, I said, reaching out one final time as a courtesy. Like, I waited 24 hours. I said, reaching out one, one final time as a courtesy for a refund or request and response before I open a case on Etsy. I also said, noting additionally that the shapes you advertised on your page were vastly different than what I received. She goes, okay, I'll go ahead and give you a refund since this was such a splurge, she put in uh, quotes, a splurge for you. Obviously, you just really need the money, so you take it out on small businesses. <laughs> The cookies took several hours and were beautiful. I will issue a return label once I receive all 24 cookies. Okay, it's 24. 24 cookies back, then you will receive a refund. And I knew why she said this. She was trying to just be petty with me now. Like, she just wanted me to have to, like, return. She wanted me to bitch about having to return the cookies because maybe she thought, oh, I'm going to use them anyway. Um... You know, I'm just trying to get a refund. I don't know what she thought. I, this woman was obviously crazy. And I feel like she was saying the return thing so that I would bitch and be like, I'm not returning these. Like, what do you, because what is she going to do with these cookies? They say Gina and Andrew on them. She couldn't, do, she couldn't reuse them. So it would be a waste of her time to pay for a shipping, a return shipping label. But I was like, you want to play that game? I'll return your fucking cookies. I said, totally, no regard for the obvious lack of effort here, but okay. It would be clear to anyone with a pair of eyes that we did not get what we paid for. <laughs> so keep saying whatever you want. Oh my god, we were in a full-on. I said, sounds great. Happy to give them back. 
send the shipping label. She never sent the shipping label. She did end up refunding me, though. Like, so I like called her bluff about like, you know, the shipping label thing, because it just it was her being petty. Um, so <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a little nervous about this just because like I fully read my messages and like I was not being like the most patient or kind person, but like I'm not. I'm a human and I'm not perfect and. Looking back, I probably could have been a little bit more patient. Um, like, I knew I was going to get my refund regardless. Like, I was going to make a case with Etsy if I needed. And I think it was, like, very clear that, like, you know, I could have written her bad review. Like, you know what I mean? So I could have been, I don't know, maybe a little kinder, like, right off the bat. <laughs> but... Just, it was just so black and white um, and I was just so pissed because now I, I was like so excited about these cookies um, and now you know this was like uh, I just couldn't have that piece of my sister's engagement and I was of course stressed and nervous and trying to make it great what I ended up doing instead was ordering cupcakes that spelled out congratulations Gina and Andrew or something from Magnolia Bakery in Manhattan which is like a really famous like well-known bakery which I didn't even know that at the time I just like found a bakery that was like close by and like would take my order last minute and I think I got like 30 cupcakes and they were beautiful and fluffy and had icing and they were custom and they did the colors I wanted and they did the letters and I think I paid like 75 bucks or something for the cupcakes um, at the time for like I don't even know how many there were 24 I guess maybe 30 I don't know I don't know if it said congrats I don't remember so that said I never heard from this woman again um, I'm not gonna like be you know posting her shop or anything like that. Like, I don't wish her ill will, but she was definitely gaslighting me, and I'm just so curious to know, like, what happened and, like, why my order was so bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is the tale of the cookie, whatever, cookie, cookie gate, and I suppose... It's just the way the cookie crumbles. I'm Bruce Nolan. <laughs> Who knows what's